Now here we are the next day after the bike has had its initial run after I rebuilt the engine. And what I'm looking for today, and this is a good mechanical tip that everyone can use, is, and there's a reason why you want to keep everything clean. You want to check for loose fittings or cramped fittings, like that one down there is a little bit cramped. Or if your water bottle is not full, or if you have any leaks. And what I found with my experimentation is that two small clamps work a lot better than one larger clamp. We call them uh, hose clamps. I don't know what they're called. They're called something else in Europe. But having everything clean, I noticed I have a little spot of oil right here. I don't know where it's come from. Now I've checked all around, way around the base, I've checked around the head surface and I know that my um, great sealing system is working excellent and I want to tell you how I know that. You can see I'm blowing some oil out of the um, pipe which is okay but I want to see if there's any other oil on the pipe. Now this is not a true plug chop but what I found about these water cooled heads is that if you have a leak in your water cooled head where fluid outside fluid is getting into the combustion chamber you can tell very quickly I'll show you how I pulled this plug off and it's not a classic plug chop so I'm not going to get into that but this is what the plug looks like close up now from my trained eye I would say that the plug is running a little bit lean, but not bad. But if there was any water leakage or any um, coolant leakage, like right here, the top of this plug would be, be, would be wet. Now the difference between this plug and the Iridium plug is a couple of things. One is We'll put the iridium right here. The iridium is supposed to use less power at high speed because it, it can conduct so well, supposedly. This also comes with its own little, you get a, about a six ounce uh, container of uh, free Vaseline with the price so it doesn't hurt so bad because these are about, I don't know, ten dollars and these are about three but um, if you're only using one plug that's no problem if you got a Lamborghini with twelve cylinders and you're paying twenty-five bucks a plug that's a lot of money now the point on this right down here is Iridium the um, conductor, or, now I'm not a plug expert okay so and it's supposed to take less energy to go from the ground which is that big part right there to the Iridium or the Iridium to the ground whereas we look at this plug and we notice we're looking for any kind of oil leakage or anything it is a, a golden brown color but remember I'm using uh, half C12 racing fuel right here with premium gas or fuel and then I'm running Silcoline competition uh, premix at 50 to 1 per gallon and I'm still experimenting so I'm just glad right now that that there is no sign plugs in the leakage also another thing I want to I've noticed that I want to talk about is that if you do have water or fluid leaking into your cylinder your exhaust will get very very loud because that's the water um, compressing and exploding in the exhaust this exhaust is a lot quieter right now I haven't noticed any leakage anywhere.